Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 18 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to properly edit videos that you shot on your phone. Because let's say that you're somewhere on a place where you cannot have your DSLR camera, or that you're basically like on a place where you cannot like have your full rig, or you just simply don't have your camera with you and you still wanna make some shots or make a quick video. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to properly edit these videos and still make them look like they're shot from your official camera. For example, like adding LUT filters and all that. So if you guys are excited, make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're here for the very first time watching and i would say let's get started editing our videos from our phone of course right after the intro All right guys, so as you can see, we are in Vegas Pro 18. So this video is gonna actually gonna be in like two parts because the first one is of course, just the regular way horizontal with like the front facing camera. The other way is to kind of film it vertically, but right now I don't have any of these black bars and I don't have any black bars because that's actually because I turned my phone sideways while I was recording. It actually started off this way and if I hold it sideways, it looks up like that, but I'll just add in the black bars so you guys can see how to fix that. So we're gonna start off with the regular footage. So what I would recommend for videos that are shot on a cell phone is I would actually go ahead and make a little list of all ways what to do. If you're going to edit videos from your phone, it's actually going to be more likely to have less quality than your regular camera. So if I would actually been able to shoot my videos with like a certain section from a video on my phone, I would actually write down three things, which is color graded and add in a stabilizer. Because if you're going to hold in like a regular camera, nine out of 10, it's on a tripod or it's in her hand, way heavier and it's way bigger. So if you have your camera in your hand, you're less likely to have the shakes, but your phone is so sensitive, it's so much more small than it is actually really, really noticeable if you have, for example, like handshake movements or whatever. So we can also use a stabilizer. So we're gonna first start off with the color grading. Now this video is actually already pretty solid because it's from an iPhone X camera. It can always need, you know, certain, you know, improvements such as color grading and like love filters. So I would apply the love filter that I always use. So as you can see, this is the one that I always use. It's a preset containing three love filters and one brightness and contrast, but it's actually too drastic. The contrast is too much, so I'm gonna undo all of these effects. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to drag in a regular intro of mine. I'm gonna grade that video, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go back to this video and then actually grade it the proper way it should be done. So it's actually looking as close as possible to the regular video that's shot on Urbe camera. I just found a still image which is graded. So what you can see, there are a lot of like a green and blue tints to it. So we're gonna actually compare these two so right now this looks like it's really really warm so i'm gonna make a new video track and i'm just gonna put these guys underneath it so then i'm going to make a little cut right here and just see what could be added so i see a lot of contrast as well we're gonna start off with the video effects tab and then we're gonna go to brightness and contrast and we're gonna drag on the default and i'm going to not like pick my regular preset this camera and this sensor is just so different from my regular camera so we have to do this manually and not use presets because they just simply don't fit so i'm gonna add in a little a little bit more of contrast just like that not too much then I'm going to close this out and then we're going to go to our LUT filter menu which is right here and then we're going to drag on the default then we're going to go ahead and look through all the presets that we have just to make it look as close as possible I think this one looks very nice the number eight because it actually adds in like a little bit of green and blue and just this you know nice you know contrast just like you see on this photo because I think this one looks actually pretty pretty nice and you know a solid uh, to this one because actually you think that it might look too different but it's just the lens and the sensor that making a difference and not really like the grading so now that we have done that we can just remove that image because this is basically just like a template so now that we have graded this one we're going to also grade the next one which is this one i'm going to also drag on number eight and then i'm going to also put on a little bit of brightness and contrast to it just like this so it actually looks 
exactly the same. All right, so now the next thing that we're gonna do, right here, we see a lot of, you know, movements from my hands. So what we're gonna do is, like I've mentioned, the stabilization. So we'll go to the video effects tab, and then we're gonna go to the top where it says the search bar, and then we can type in stabilizer. So I'm gonna pick video stabilization, and we're gonna drag that onto the clip. But the user view is on basic. So let's go ahead and put professional. And the motion compensation, we're gonna put that one to transition plus rotation plus scale. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on analyze motion. So now it's basically analyzing like how much it's shaking and it's, you know, detecting like, you know, for example, that painting in the wall, how much is it changing from position? So it zooms in actually a little bit. So if you zoom out using, the, for example, the track motion, we can make sure that everything is nice and fitted into the screen. So let's play it back right now. It's stabilized quite a bit, so if you're going to use your camera as still as possible, it's actually looking very, very solid. And that's how you can fix these, you know, shaky movements, because let's say that you're also outside making winter shots and it's really cold. Your hands are shaking and that's how you can also compensate. And that's how you can also get rid of the, you know, shaky stuff in your actual video using the stabilizer. Okay, so now that we've done that, we have stabilized the footage, so it actually comes really close to our camera, which is on a tripod. We also graded it. There's only one left thing to do, and that's basically making sure to fill up the entire screen because let's say that you filmed your video this way from the start and you have black bars I'm going to show you guys what happens so if you film yourself vertically because actually it's kind of like this trick that you would fall for because on your phone it fills the entire screen from top to bottom but it's not really that in reality on Vegas Pro and in like 16.9 videos because if we want to actually import our videos that are filmed this way in Vegas Pro we will have these black bars and they're not transparent so if you're going to export these out, you will basically have black bars all around. That's where Vegas thought, all right, let's make a feature which is called the black bar filler. So of course, you guys have all been there where you had to duplicate all your tracks, for example, like this. Then you had to make the bottom one bigger just like that and then you had to like throw a gosh and blur on it but that's not actually how to do it because it saves a lot of time if you just you know delete the background and if you go to the video effects tab and we're gonna type in black bar fill and now we have a lot of different shapes to choose from right here okay so now we're gonna drag on for example the default but what we can also do is we can browse through the presets so right here it says on default and this is what it looks like but if I go ahead and drag this around as you can see we can have many different options with like more shadow and for example a background that's not blurry or actually really really blurry or zoomed in the options are endless in the black bar fill menu because if you put it on default you can for example choose the scale of the background and the actual video itself you know, you can make that a lot bigger, a lot smaller, like it's, for example, like this picture-in-picture -picture effect. As you can see right now, if I put the quality a little bit less, actually the background follows along. That's really, really cool that Vegas has now this official feature instead that you had to go ahead and do that manually. And the last thing I would recommend is to work with a little bit more of a feature to reduce noise. So what I would do is I would go to the video effects tab and I would type in noise. Okay, so as you can see right now, I zoomed in quite a bit just to show you guys a little bit more of the actual noise that we have in the screen. So, of course, if we drag on the denoise feature onto it, right now we have the luminance and the chrominance. So, we got to actually adjust these ones. So, if I drag this guy up a little bit, of course, it's going to make the background a lot softer. Because right here, we have like these lines on the wall. And if we actually give it a little bit of time to apply to it, as you can see, it disappears like that. And that's how you can like flatten out your background. I wouldn't recommend to put too much of this filter on otherwise you know it's going to look like quite cartoony i don't know why it does it but you just have to make sure that you will just make the video a lot more smoother and just not apply too much of it and just make sure that you always have enough lighting going on and that's how to also improve your video that way if it might have noise if you have shot it for example in a darker place and that's basically how to edit these videos from your phone and make them look as close as the original video that you shot on your camera so i hope this helps and that is basically how to edit videos from your mobile phone. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Now you guys know how to properly edit the videos on your phone because, of course, everybody prefers their official camera because the quality is better than, for example, only like the lens from your phone. This is basically how you do it and how you can also manipulate, like, for example, if you have some kind of noise thing going on if you're filming in a dark place. That's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to reward it with a like down below and also let me know down in the comments what you would like to see for the next video. So that's all I have for you guys today and I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next one.